Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christie Reisinger, and today I'm going to talk to you about various types of masks, their pros and cons, and how to use them effectively. The first type of mask that a lot of people have been using are bandanas. I like this option for a couple of reasons. One is that you have a couple layers of cloth when you fold it over. The next is that you can tie it easily. You can tie it easily behind your head and remove it easily. The next option is a buff, which you place around your neck and then cover your nose and mouth. I don't like this one as much because it's difficult to get on and off without it touching the rest of your face. The third option is a surgical mask. This is another really effective option, but they're very hard to find. So let's talk about how to use these well. You know, like I said, I mentioned that I liked the bandana because let's think about why we're using these masks. We're using these masks be to prevent spread of COVID-19 from patients that don't know that they have it. That's the main reasons why we're asking people to have face coverings. It's not really to protect you from getting COVID-19, although we do hope that it helps with that as well. But the main reason we're asking people to wear face coverings is that when you cough, sneeze, or talk, those respiratory droplets are going to collect inside your mask or inside your face covering. For that reason, it's really important not to share your mask with anyone else in your family. And another thing to think about is that when you take it off, the inside could potentially be infected. So it's important for you not to leave it laying around the house. Either throw it away or put it in the washing machine for use the next day. Another reason why I don't like the buffs are that, let's say there are particles of COVID-19 on the outside of the mask. As I mentioned before, the main reason why we're asking people to wear face coverings is to prevent them from spreading COVID-19 to others. However, there is a theoretical benefit by preventing large respiratory droplets from being inhaled into your nose or mouth. We're not sure how well these types of masks help with that, but theoretically, they may help some. So, Theoretically, there could be COVID-19 particles on the outside of the mask as well. So by removing it from around your neck, it would be very difficult not to spread it all over your face. It's also important that you keep it away from your nose and mouth and eyes when you're removing the buff. My one concern about having people wear face coverings is that they're going to touch their face more. I hope that that's not true, but I want people to remember that if you constantly adjust your mask or let your mask ride up into your eye, that could potentially spread COVID-19 to you. Because as I mentioned, the outside of the mask could be carrying COVID-19, and we know the inside of the mask, if you are a symptomatic carrier, will have COVID-19 on it. I do hope that by patients wearing face coverings, they'll remember to touch their nose and mouth less. We touch our faces so much accidentally throughout the day. So I'm hopeful that wearing a mask may prevent our hands, which can potentially be contaminated from touching our nose and mouth, which can give you COVID-19. When you remove the masks, remember, like I said, the outside and of course the inside could be infected with COVID-19 particles. So it's very important that when you remove your mask that you wash your hands. A final concern I have about wearing masks is that I don't want this to replace social distancing. Masks can help to some degree, but they're certainly not going to be as beneficial as simply staying six feet away from someone. I want to continue to stress social distancing and washing your hands. Thanks so much for joining me.